<laughs> Melissa, you know, a big part of the show is your relationship with your sister-in-law, Teresa. Right. And we talked about the wedding, the beautiful wedding, but you and Joe were not there. Right. What happened? I listen, it's extremely sad, you know? It's one of those things where you never wish it on anyone, you never imagine that it's gonna happen. I think everyone will see why we made that decision. Um, and I think, I, you know, that was honestly the best thing for my family at the time. There's sometimes when you have to say, enough is enough. And I feel like everyone will see why, obviously, you know, through the show, or I would love to tell you right now, um, but I can't. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can't tell. I'm no, like, wait, but, I'm going, but what? I'm, <laughs> but it's obviously, it's, it's, it's sad, Sherry. It's sad. It's a very sad situation. This is sad, because it's, you know, it's like family, the family dynamics. I, we just want you guys, are you going to make up? Uh, you and Teresa? I... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no, you no. know. I don't I, know. <laughs> you really? I mean, well, do you want to make up with? Teresa? I mean, listen. I have always pushed forward. Yeah. I have always pushed forward. I've always put my best foot forward. But you know what? Sometimes when things are super, super toxic, it's it's hard to keep fighting that fight. And if you're fighting yes. it alone and it's one sided, you do know that. There, there there comes a time, right, as we get older. Yeah. That I need to worry about my children and my family and my relationship with my husband as well. It can't be so one-sided and selfish. Like, I need to open my eyes sometimes and say, you know what? What's gonna be good for the quality of our lives? And, and how toxic can you let something get? And so, you know, we, we had to do what we had to do. Sadly, never wanted to do it. But, but I do, do think we made the right decision for our family. Well, this is why you're still together, you and your husband. You know, like you said, you have to drown out the noise. You have to, you have now, to. Margaret, you and Teresa, now you guys uh, have gotten into it a yes. few times, but you were at the wedding, you and your husband. Yes. So y'all made up. Well, yes, we, we, we made up. You know what it was? We came off last reunion and I said, I, I don't think we could speak again. She, we took baby steps. You'll see yeah. right from the first episode that okay. um, we, we made amends and we said, we're going to take baby steps. And I want to make sure it was sincere. It was very hard for me uh, because Melissa is one of my best friends in the world, to go to the wedding um, because I had known it was so painful and things like yeah. that. So I did the best for both parties. I went, I stayed for a little while. I said, I can't dance the whole night away. Mm -hmm. And knowing my other friends are home in pain. So, you know, we stayed for a little while, paid our respects, and I did the best for both parties possible. Okay, so you did you... <laughs> You danced a little bit, you had a couple no, drinks. I, I didn't even, you. I went to the cocktail hour, I watched her, a, a beautiful ceremony, and then and then we left. I, I thought, you know what, I wanted to watch her get married, walk down there, and then I was just like, you know what, I, I can't dance and, and feel happy, because you know, it was also painful. Right. It was a bittersweet moment, and it was it was hard, it, it was emotional. I The I'm whole sure time that people was. say on the season, I wanted nothing more than to watch th this family heal and they mend. Come together. It's just not the right time right now.